Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Key Nicole. Call me Key. I am on my way to South Philly to get my nails done. I'm going to have an amazing day today. Actually, today should be like super fun. I'm going to go get my nails done. Going to the, my homegirl, my esthetician, um, to get a procedure. Well, not a procedure. Um, I'm getting a fake. Well, we'll talk about it later. Um, but as far as my nails, if I can make it, because traffic is like super duper. Oh my God, traffic is insane right now. Thank God she texted me and was like, hey, Kay, I need like 15 minutes. And I'm like, me too. Um, Cause traffic is crazy. And my gas light just came on. So I'm really trying it today. Oh God. All right, so into my nails. I think I'ma do black toes done with the white. I think I'ma get black, a black polish, gel polish for my toes. And I'm definitely getting my nails cut down. Um, these are way too long. I don't know what I'm doing like design wise or whatever, or even if I'ma even have time to do any of that because I'm running behind schedule and I'm her first client. I hate being people's first client and late. It just messes people day up. So, um, I, people driving crazy. Like, what are you doing? Let me focus on this and I'll, I'll come back later. Living fast life, I just want it. wasn't bad I actually got here before her so that was dope um I cut my nails down I'm just really trying something different I normally go like long nails but I just want to do something different so I cut my nails down um and I got this design little black little scribbly lines it's cute. What you think? Cute or mid? I think they're cute. All right, so um, I gotta go get some gas. Oh, it's hot. That's one thing about fall. It start off cool and then it gets super warm, but. I gotta go get some gas now. And then I'm gonna head to Art more to my favorite esthetician. <laughs> my only esthetician. <laughs> Alright, so let's get the hell out of South Philly. Let me find a gas station real quick. And, um,. Let's get out of South Philly. I gotta find a gas station real quick because I'm on E. Uh, and then I'm gonna head to Ortmore. All right, so. Ah! Get the fuck out of South Philly. <laughs> yes, Philly in these damn streets. Potholes, it's horrible. Her coffee is still hot. I did good. I did not get any pretzels. 
I promise, I promise, I promise. I did not get any pretzels. Oh, it's a gas station right there. All right, cool. Hit this gas station real quick. I really want a Wawa gas station. Uh, maybe if I go, uh, will I make it to the Wawa gas station? Oh, it's a new Wawa right here, and then I could jump on the expressway and go back. All right. Yeah, I got 23 miles. I actually, hmm. No, I'm not. Uh, I never really go this low with um, being on E or close to E. I never really go this low. Oh, I'm in the wrong. I'm in the wrong lane. Fuck. This is not right. Driving has been horrible today. I don't know what is going on here. I want to see if I can... I want to get in the other lane. Can I do it? Ah, I can do it. Boom. Let me go to Wawa's real quick. Grab this gas. I needed gas yesterday. I knew I needed gas yesterday. I was like, oh, I should probably get gas before I go in. But then I was like, ah, I'm gonna just get it in the morning. I'm tired. It's like really a bad move. It's really, really a bad move. See, I believe it's a wild wild somewhere down here. Oh shit, a Chick-fil-A. Oh shit, Chick-fil-A, wild wilds. I did not know all this was here. Oh shit, come, come through Philly. Philly, Philly, Philly. This is nice. Oh, it's a good Chick-fil-A too. I mean, they all good Chick-fil-A's. Every Chick-fil-A is, I mean, it's Jesus food. Uh, I'm not getting no Chick-fil-A though. I'm in the gym going in. So, I'm not doing it. Just go to Wawa and fill me up. Y'all didn't jump right back on the expressway. This was genius of them to put this here. This is a really good intersection. All right. Oh, plus I got a good hack. It's mindset. So I really don't like to um, fill my tank up. So my hack is of never filling my tank up is not letting my gas tank go past half. You never have to fill your tank up. You never have to pay that full price. So, genius. I don't like um, putting gas in my tank. It's not my favorite thing. All right, let me get out this car and fill this tank up real quick. Alright, I'm here at 
my girl's place. Um, and I'm ready to get this face together. So let's go inside. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Um, oh, maybe you can wax my underarms. Okay. You can turn your pile. I will. Thank you. Just have faith that whatever you want, you're going to get it in whatever life you want, you're, you're going to achieve it, but it doesn't matter when. That should be irrelevant. You can't put a deadline on your own success. It's crazy. It's going to take time. It's not going to happen overnight, but you got to be willing to do it. God going to put you through a lot of trials and tribulation for you to get where you want to go. You got to lose a lot of things to get what you want. You got to gain things, you got to see things, and you got to be hurt. Are you being patient? Are you trusting the process? We live in a social media era where I like to call the microwave ever. You see so many people start something today and they expect the result tomorrow. They expect the result next week. They expect the result next month. They expect the result at the end of the year. And a lot of people quit because those results don't show up on their time. Anything that, that takes time to build is powerful. Great things Take time. Um, every time we link up it's always not just skin talk but we just talk about so much stuff I love her um, I'm going to link her in my description um, I haven't been doing a lot of I used to go to her um, a while ago and I was getting like my uh, facials and getting like some treatments for like my um, breakouts and uneven skin tone and all that stuff and I kind of stopped but now I'm back I'm back on track and I'm just ready to um, just be more consistent. It's really, really weird because most of like, it's seeming like through life, consistency is key, you know, with whatever that you do. If it's making YouTube videos or if it's working out, eating healthy, um, and the list goes on and on and on. It's important to be consistent to, you know, see results. So, now that I'm back on track with a lot of these things, um, I should be seeing some improvement in life, period. Especially with, like, working out, um with eating more healthier, making more healthier choices. Um, I'm actually like being more conscious on getting to work on time. I'm just overall trying to be a better me. And I gotta come up with a plan and then execute and just consistently just keep doing it over and over and over again. So I had this really great conversation with Aisha and she was telling me that 
now that I had now that I am super consistent with washing my face I have to learn to just stick with my products so normally what I was doing was she'll give me a couple of products to use and I would use them and then I would toss them or stop using them once my face will break out I'm like oh shit my face broke out I'm not using this no more and she's telling me like no this is what needs to happen like you use products then your face break out and it's called purging so I gotta like continue still use to use it so it can actually work so I'm gonna do it this time I'm gonna do it I'm on a roll with just like practice practicing on being consistent so I'm not gonna stop she gave me like a whole little like um, list of everything to use and I'm excited I'm excited I'm excited to you know just get this together along with so many other things I got going on she also was telling me about this event that she's having. I'm really excited for that. It's going to be like a um, an event. Oh, she's telling me about this event that she's having. It's kind of like where she's teaching you like the importance of like skincare and like what to use like what kind of moisturizer to use if you have like oily skin dry skin um the importance of using sunscreen what sunscreen to use um acne how to get rid of bumps what to use to get rid of like breakouts and stuff like that um i'm super excited for that i'm definitely gonna attend and um, I'm excited. So I'll be there for that. So I did a really bad thing today. I got up like super early for my nail appointment. Super early for me. Well, yeah, I got up like six something in the morning. I'm normally not a get get up at six in the morning kind of girl i'm a night shifter i don't really like waking up early but i woke up early yesterday to go um walk in with my girlfriend and then um that was beautiful oh my god that was so amazing it's like walking all around um i think i did like almost two 20 I did almost like 20,000 steps yesterday that was really nice now what I didn't do was eat you could say I fast I mean I had my coffee it's like 5 o'clock 5 30 to be exact and I haven't eaten anything all day I'm a fucking hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. So I have to eat. I was gonna stop at Kava, but I'm like, I'm gonna go in the house and eat, and um, I'm gonna finish editing. Um, this vlog gotta edit edit this vlog and I probably catch up on a show or some or some of my favorite YouTube girls I might pop in and check out a couple of their vlogs I'm like obsessed with YouTube um yeah super short because I didn't really film much this week I really didn't film that much this week but and I go back to work tomorrow 
and I work Saturday no I work Thursday Friday and then I'm off so um, I'm gonna try to pick my camera up on Saturday I don't know Saturday no I'm lying I'm not I'm not about to pick my camera up Saturday because I normally don't do anything after working more than one night shift. I normally rest. So Saturday, most likely, I'm going to rest. Sunday, I'm really going to probably hang out with Bay on Sunday and watch a couple of games. A couple of football games with him. And I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah, so this might be a short vlog this week. Yeah. Yep. So, until next time, I'll talk to you girls later. Peace. Fam, just keep showing up. Just keep being consistent. That's the only thing God asking you to do in this season. Just keep showing up. Because if you keep showing up, they give God another reason to bless you. Like he looking for somebody to fill this role and he like, okay, it's dwindling down. People falling off, is people not showing up no more. You still showing up. Keep showing up. Because the thing is, you praying for the promotion, but God like, are you ready for the pressure? You praying for the platform, but God like, are you ready for the pressure of this? Are you ready for the haters? That's why God got you in this position. That's why you're going through everything you're going through right now. Because God like, okay. When I put you in this position, it ain't no coming down. So let me make sure this is actually what you want. Because I don't want to put the wrong person up there. And you know it's coming. You know you're going to get there. Because you've been putting in the work. You've been putting in the time. Stop doubting God. Like, you know what you did. You know what you've been doing. God see it too. God going to reward you for that. But just keep showing up. It all lies within your consistency. Are you willing to do it whenever it looks like it ain't going to happen? Faith is believing that God is telling the truth even when it looks like he ain't. Keep believing him. God gonna blow your mind with what he show you next. I promise you that. Keep believing it.